Talk to us about the success you've had in the first quarter and how your previous work can prepare you for the uncertainty ahead. So first of all, good morning and thanks for having me. Uh, indeed, we had a very, very good first quarter. Uh, partially, I have to say, also driven by uh, increased demand uh, due to uh, the COVID crisis. The biggest challenge we have had is actually to uh, uh, continue to run our operations. Uh, our people have done a marvelous job uh, keeping the company afloat and actually uh, showing significant resilience in particular of our production network, uh, which has allowed us to respond very, very flexibly to a highly volatile demand pattern, uh, and that has yielded a 10% increase in top line, a 6% increase in top line for the quarter uh, against last year, and a 10% increase both uh, in uh, uh, EBITDA and also our core earnings per share. So off to a strong start, mm. yet the uncertainty remains. Uh, we don't know exactly uh, how uh, the restart and uh, the uh, unraveling of the current lockdowns uh, across the world is going to work. And hence, we've said that it is simply too early, based on that first quarter, uh, to further you know, have a perspective on uh, the remainder of the year. Uh, good morning to you, Bernard. Do you expect the management board to get the support of shareholders at the AGM this week? Will you get more support than last time? And what kind of percentage would be a success? Well, uh, actually, uh, within the same token of quarter one, 2020, if I look back at 2019, I really can say that as an organization, we have delivered. We have delivered operationally. We have delivered strategically. We have significantly stepped up our engagement and interaction uh, with uh, shareholders around the world, uh, with more than 500 shareholders uh, representing 60% uh, of our equity uh, in the company. Feedback during these discussions has been appreciative and very good. Uh, we have delivered on all of our portfolio measures with very, very strong um, outcomes uh, for the company and our shareholders. So uh, we are looking at an AGM tomorrow uh, that uh, is of course going to be uh, characterized by it being the first one ever uh, of a DAX company to go virtual as an online AGM. And uh, again, we have delivered, but uh, I cannot speculate on uh, the, uh, uh, the voting of our shareholders. And I think everyone understands the COVID-19 uncertainty the, uh, the roundup uncertainty is far more of a concern for your shareholders, Vanner. What are you expecting as far as uh, an approval rating? Typically, German CEOs get 90% or more. This is going to be, I assume, more difficult for you. Is, you know, would you consider 70% a success tomorrow? Well, uh, again, uh, we are very happy with uh, the performance of the company. Uh, our entire organization has done a marvelous job uh, uh, in 2019. We are looking uh, with confidence and optimism uh, forward to uh, the AGM tomorrow. Uh, COVID is a concern. I think we have coped with it very well due, uh, during the first quarter. When it comes to the glyphosate litigation, uh, the number of cases is not indicative of uh, their justification. Uh, we've been very clear on our position uh, on that litigation. That hasn't changed a bit. And uh, we are doing this in the best interest of the company and our shareholders, and I'm sure they will appreciate it. On the subject of COVID-19, Werner, you produce chloroquine, a malaria uh, drug, of course. It's off patent. Um, do you have a time scale for when we'll know whether chloroquine is, is useful in this fight? And do you have an expectation of it being useful? Well, uh, we uh, invented chloroquine more than 80 years ago. It's a proven and well understood uh, malaria drug, also with a well understood uh, side effect profile. But uh, it is not indicated uh, for COVID-19, uh, it is indicated for malaria. So we do have uh, anecdotal uh, evidence uh, from uh, uh, you know, some treatments in China uh, that it might work and help smoothen uh, the trajectory of the disease if given early, also in combination with an antibiotic. Uh, clinical trials are running as we speak. We hope to have the readouts uh, within the next weeks uh, and then we can see whether it really uh, uh, works and uh, can actually provide significant relief to many, many people around the world. We are 
actually increasing and uh, restarting our manufacturing activities uh, in Europe. Uh, we have secured mm. significant raw materials to do so, to produce millions uh, of doses. And uh, once approved and proven that it works, uh, we will donate actually all of that as part of okay. our humanitarian efforts to help people and societies around the world.